contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man but he has put in all the right work and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight you know when you've been there and you get back here it's not new there are a lot of things that are familiar but how do you change the result how do you assure that in this time during this chance you ultimately walk away with the championship he's been here before john the team's been here before they are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion on that side. This is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, He's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen. Bruce effing Lee. Ready to make a statement in front of this capacity crowd here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, El Terrible. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. All right, so as we get this stand-up only fight underway, just a quick reminder on the rule set, no grappling or wrestling of any type, and fighters also cannot follow up with ground strikes on the canvas. So if you knock your opponent down, you cannot follow up with strikes. Very important to point that out here at the beginning of round one. Oh, Block there. He loaded up there on that high kick. Establishing the jab. Oh! oh this could do it. Oh! A fight. My goodness, what a fight. Oh, what a kick. All right, so we have got a full-on wall to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. 
Great block there. Nice, good. Keep that pressure there. Out the break. Lands a nice jab there. Cut above the eye. Just over three minutes to go now. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Oh my goodness, what a kick! Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fight. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, and he goes for the hook now, it's good. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Whoa! This is big. That's big. So we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taking a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots. Because the swelling's starting now, and it's light. But if he takes many more of these types of shots, it's going to get real bad. Under two minutes now to go. Jab. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get the cake down or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut, and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Come on, you got a little more. Come on. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Big shot lands for both guys. Oh, almost like he saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to kill with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. So there's the horn at the end of the round. Thankfully for him, he will live to see another round. You saw him get knocked down near the end of the round. If there were 10 more seconds, that likely would have been the end of his night. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Here we are, early round two. On point with that jab today. Beautiful setup to the leg kick. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Lee gets stunned there by that stiff jab. Doing a real nice job with these leg kicks, trying to slow his opponent down and largely succeeding. He goes upstairs for an elbow. Great defense on the play. 
Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Straight right hand now just misses. Back and forth we go. Lee's really taking aim at that cut right now, and hard to blame him, right? They might even call in the ringside position. He is continuing to target that area. Oh, that right eye's looking really swollen now. He landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence has grown from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso. Oh, oh you got to start to look to finish him now. Great fight. Nice block. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything. Yeah, he should have got the fight finished at that time. What a fight. What a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured. But they're both hurt for sure. Yeah, John, they're both beat up. But I think that is the key. The mental is what's going to allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're going to have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fight. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, boy, look at that gas. going to the body with that hook. Nicely done there by Lee. Well, you thought the cut man... Oh, he just hurt him. He just hurt him. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but... His opponent's still standing. I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. Ooh. Beautiful defense. Nice block. Back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. Lee's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery next week. But now we'll see if mentally, physically, he can stay in this fight. The official decision is in. We said it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 51 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout.
and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, he has had an answer for all styles.